Yo, what's up guys, Orbit AE here, I'm bringing you a little video on how to get good at Gears of War. This is going to be some intermediate to uh, advanced tips, some beginner tips, everything really. Uh, this is going to be videos to help you guys and hopefully improve myself um, and pass on what I can for people who are getting better at Gears of War and want to improve their wall balance and their A strafes and their up A's, their back A's, things like that. Um, and some general tips that hopefully should help about weapons, everything really. This is just going to be a little mini series to help everyone out. Uh, but yeah, first thing I want to talk about is your control scheme. For start, go to your controller. Find a look sensitivity, that is when you're not aiming down sight. Um, you, when you're blind firing your shotgun or any other weapon. Uh, find something that's comfortable for you. Your target sensitivity is um, when you're aiming down sight. Zoom sensitivity, obviously zoom. Basically the tip is to find something that's not too quick that you can swap to a power weapon because the sniper you have to be a little bit more sensitive than you do with your targeting. Then your look for your shotgun is much easier to shotgun with a high sensitivity. So find something that feels good for you. The biggest thing I can talk about in the control scheme is probably the inner dead zone. Um, a lot of people I've looked on videos online and not much on this but I've seen a couple videos that explain it really well. Basically it's the minute movements of your thumbstick and basically it cuts out latency at four. Uh, find one that's comfortable for you. One is a bit too tight, it just tightens everything up. I recommend putting it on four, three, four. That's what I found the best. Straight away I found my shotgun a lot more on point and my sniper and answer everything. Basically cuts out input delay. That's the big thing that you want to do. Vibration off like with every controller game. Toggle primary weapon. So basically you only have to press left or right. Um, not left or right if you get what I mean. <laughs> uh, you have to just press one to switch between it's new to Gears War 4, omnidirectional roll, I prefer off, a lot of people play with that on, but I'm used to Gears War 1 and 2, where you could only roll forward, back, left and right, so that's what I play with. Control scheme, this is another big thing, I use a Elite controller, but if you haven't got an Elite controller, I would recommend going to Tournament, so that basically changes your A to your... LB, so that means you can take your thumb off your joystick to look around, wall bounce, aim, without having to take it off to slide into cover. So yeah, that's really good. That Some people play um, alternative, but I can't give you any help on that. That basically stops your evade and roll, in. so take cover is A, and evade, roll, slash whatever is um, X. I don't play that, so I can't give you any tips on that. So uh, a lot of people prefer that at high level, but to be honest, I don't think you need to. You can get good. A lot of people just don't bother. But anyway, guys, this is going to be the first little video that I've done on this. Uh, expect some more to do with wall bouncing, a strafing movement, everything. Just the basic fundamentals to Gears of War, and hopefully we can improve together. Next video, I'll definitely have some gameplay and talking about what we can do to improve. Anyway guys, this has been Orbit, coming in your ears.